was, uh, I remember when she sketched when she was first started to run. And uh, she's a very nice girl. She's a battler. She's done come to the top. The only trouble is now everybody wants to control her just because there's money attached to her. Unfortunately, it's not like the good old games of uh, Greece when all they fought for was the glory of winning it. Well, it wasn't a medal those days. All they got was a, around their head a wreath of uh, olives, leaves. So, games do change. Another gentleman of our Australian fish of our Australian Olympic team, the 1,500, who won gold twice, and he's hoping, of course, to make it three. It would be a wonderful thing if he did. But he's got a tough man with Grant Hackett. But between the two of them, whoever wins it will be wonderful. Yes. Believe it or not, I caught John Antonio Samaranch. You know, the big boy IOC, and that's his signature there. And that was when he was over in 1948, uh, 1998 over in Perth. Here we are, up there, the Russian, who's on the 150 yard, uh, yard of metres, I mean. Sprinter says he's the fastest man in the world. I think I just recently I read that he's regained the, the title of being the fastest in one some event overseas. I've done two or three of him in different stages. You're getting all these in us? Right, here we have Jenny Thomas, the American there who's regarded, I suppose, probably one of the fastest swimmers, sprint sp swimmers in, in the world at the moment. She'll be out here again. And uh, I'll probably, but if I get up to the, the, the Sunshine Coast where they go to camp, I hope to get up there. If I do, I'll catch up with her again, possibly do another drawing. I don't know if she'll have the hair that long, who's the same? There's, of course, is Grant Hackett. That was a drawing, apart from the one I did before. And uh, you don't realise how tall he is, you know. He's, he's six foot, I think I asked him, and he's, I think he said six foot four. Or six foot five was it? So that's a fair height. No wonder he gets his arms out and wins the races. Now here's another, the great, one of our greats ever of, uh, of swimming, Ian Thorpe. He's a nice boy. There's much attention to him. It must be driving him mad. But he never finds it a problem. And I did see it when I was up in uh, Calandra. How the number of people that called on him and children asking for his autograph and he never failed once to turn around and stop whatever he was doing to just to give that signature to that child or the lady or the jet who, who pulled him up for a signature. The butterfly queen of swimming, Susie O'Neill. That was one when the hair's a bit different now, it comes down more of a shape bob there. But uh, that was when they had all these medals she's won there, I don't know what exactly I had, it has won the 200 butterfly for, but she's won so many medals now, let's hope she goes, she wins enough medals to be able to, when she's, I think she'll be retiring after these games, to say I'm the fastest swimmer of sprint and butterfly in the world. Here we have Don, Talbot, who as a coach, that was sketched in 1998, he's a gentleman, he was very helpful to me when I was in the Australian Institute of Sport last couple of weeks ago and doing my drawings, he, I was the only one allowed among the press to go down and stay with him in Calandra and to be down with the boys down in, uh, the swimmers I mean, and, and girls and boys in uh, Canberra to do my work. Here we have the other man, the one of the fastest who and Green will be battling to find who is the fastest man in the world. Michael Johnson there. Uh, Michael Johnson's signature's there, there's there. I've got about two, three drawings of him with his signature. And what I understand there with Nikkei or Nicky, that he's is under the uh, spot who sponsors him. Uh, he and uh, Tiger Woods will never ever uh, sign another drawing or anything that's got 
goes to a portrait. He might sign signatures on caps and that. So I'm very fortunate I've got his signatures. But that was done back in 1994. So there was no problems there. Here's this Greek boy that uh, beat, uh, his name is Angelos Pavliakakis of Greece, winner of the first heat of the 100 metre against Bailey Donovan, the fastest man in the world at the time. And so he won the heat, and he, I think he came about fourth, I think, was uh, in the final. But uh, naturally the Greeks were all excited when he won the heat. And uh, as you said, it's a symbol of, there of Greece, there's the track. And that's his signature, the big block letters. It's one of my favourite girls, Linda Gaisford. She's been, I've known her over the years, she's been very comfortable with me. And we always, when she sees me, we get together and have a bit of a yarn. I know her dad well, and I only hope that she comes home with a gold medal winner too. As a gold medal winner. Well, I just keep looking.